to measure a lamination, we first of all have to calibrate on a V1, which is 25 millimeters thick. That's 25 echo, and the next echo is represents 50. There's two echoes there, one at the end of the screen. I'll just show you. There it is with the X shift. Go back to our pipe. We can see the thickness here, there, therefore, is 20 millimeters on a 50 millimeter range. The depth of our lamination, therefore, is just under 10 millimeters depth. Now, to measure the to measure the width of the lamination, we maximize the defect height to about 80% using our amplitude. This is the defect here, here, the lamination, and we move until it drops by a half, which is about there. It's about half is there. Now we could use the cursor keys left and right, or we can use our mouse. When, because the signal has dropped by 50%, the center of the probe represents the edge of the lamination. We come to the other side until it drops by 50%. Again, the center of the probe now, here, represents this edge of the lamination. Similarly for the other edges, the center is there, and this edge. So we've now mapped out the lamination. Let's hide the defect now. Click on the hide button. We will not give the a locking key. Just click OK. We cannot see the lamination now, but we can see it on the A scan here. Locate the lamination. There it is. We'll go up, maximize the echo, up until it drops by half. That's the top edge of the defect. That's the bottom edge of the lamination. The right edge. And the left edge. Let's unhide it to prove it. Yep. Yeah.